here's my first take on the Mila air purifier. Um, you have to forgive the audio in this voiceover. I recorded it at home in a room with a bunch of windows. So uh, there's an acoustics video somewhere in there to come in the future in terms of indoor environmental quality, I'm sure. But uh, I'm excited about this uh, air cleaner. I think their marketing was great. They, they you know, call out the other manufacturers that talk about like HEPA type, HEPA like, 99 HEPA, HEPA grade, and things that aren't actually HEPA filtration. And um, yeah, I'll talk more about that in the video. So enjoy. All right. So here's a new air purifier. This is the Mila. I've had it now for about a month. Um, I really enjoyed the packaging, I thought that was, that was cool and unique. I mean, the marketing really on this device was great. That's what sold me um, from the get-go, really. And I'll talk a little bit more about that later. But here is the filter I got, of course, the overreactor. They give you a couple options for upgraded filters. Um, this one's a HEPA filter with carbon, and then you can also get the uh, socks to go on top of it. Here's the packaging. 100% recyclable, that's always good. Super easy to get out of the box. So here's the device. Cool design. That's always, uh, you know, a nice feature as well. Not expected necessarily. I'm more about the performance, but nice looking little air purifier. Here's the socks you can get that go on the outside of the filter and just extend filter life. Um, I think this can have a four pack, so that's another upgrade you can get. Just kind of stick it around the edge there. And the uh, Mila actually comes with a standard filter right inside here. So keep that in mind uh, before you unbox it and just turn it on. But put in that upgraded filter. And then I thought, let's look at it inside. Here's there's the fan. There's the device. All right, let's get that filter back in there. Looking good. So here it is running, goes through some calibration, gives you air quality alerts. A lot of ours right now are based on particulate matter and cooking and things like that. The app itself, the design of the app is really great. Um, it can add, it's intended obviously to have multiple rooms, multiple devices. It's gamified, it shows all your stats right there and a little bit of history. This is definitely a consumer device, so you're not gonna like go online and download all the data or anything like that, but they give you all the good background on all the different uh, parameters that you're monitoring too. So you get your PM 2.5, the PM 10 here, you can see there's some you know, cooking spikes we had happen. Uh, humidity, relative humidity is low. Welcome to winter in Nebraska. Then temperature, actually we had a pretty mild uh, winter, so I shouldn't complain about it. Uh, VOCs and uh, CO2 and CO, I guess. I'll talk about that a little bit more later, but you'll notice mine here are pretty flatlined right now. So that was, if there's anything I'm a little bit bummed out by, it's that. But there's a lot of cool modes also um, that go along with the device. You got the bubble boy mode and the uh, child lock mode. These are really intuitive. You can you know, kind of pick up what they mean and what they do and why they do it. Enable, disable from the app. Energy save. It's a good one. And then quiet mode. It can it can definitely be uh, noticeably loud uh, during some of those modes. So they have these kind of quieter ambient and it'll it'll turn down the volume on itself once it notices occupancy in the room, which is cool. Oh, and then it makes me laugh. I, I just appreciate this stuff so much like it's intuitive it's trying to make air quality available for everyone so good job mila so some final thoughts regarding the mila which i really like um so far i think it's great uh the thing i can't quite figure out um that i i want to take it apart but i won't uh so far is uh, the sensors inside. Um, I think what was really appealing to me was that it kind of had this package solution of air quality monitoring and uh, air treatment. But uh, come to find out that the CO2 uh, 
sensor is not an actual uh, dedicated sensor. It's like a relational CO2 based on the VOC. So I found this out because I, um, I noticed that the essentially the CO2 and the VOC levels as shown on the app were just flatlined um, for quite a long period of time. I reached out to Mila support and um, they told me that I could uh, take the unit outside and, and kind of recalibrate it uh, in outdoor ambient air, though it's been, you know, zero degrees here in Omaha for a while, so I haven't done that yet. I'll probably um, get to that in the next few days and then have some follow-up thoughts. But regardless, um, I, I really enjoy, as a consumer device, I think it's great. The, the app interface is cool. It, it makes me laugh, which you don't expect from an air uh, treatment device usually. Uh, so that was a nice bonus. And I, I think the best thing is just the um, kind of their, their marketing approach in terms of uh, transparency. They're not trying to be something they're not, uh, but what they do, I think they do really well. So uh, I'm into it so far.